हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट एल्कोहल टॉलरेंस नाउ एज वी ऑल नो एल्कोहल इज अ साइको एक्टिव सब्सटेंस नाउ वेन एल्कोहल इज कंज्यूम्ड एज पर रिकमेंडेशन दैट इज नॉट मोर देन वन स्टैंडर्ड ड्रिंक पर डे बाय वुमन एंड नॉट मोर देन टू स्टैंडर्ड ड्रिंक्स पर डे बाय मैन इट प्रोड्यूस ब्लड एल्कोहल कंटेंट ऑफ थर्टी टू सिक्सटी मिलीग्राम पर डेसी लीटर नाउ दिस लिमिटेड कंजम्पन ऑफ एल्कोहल प्रोड्यूस फीलिंग ऑफ प्लेजर एक्साइटमेंट एंड यूफोरिया hesitation self criticism and restraints are lost it produces generalized depression of central nervous system now let's talk about alcoholic tolerance now repeated intake of alcohol diminishes or reduces its effect on body and now increased doses needed to produce the same effect that means if earlier one drink per day one standard drink per day produced feeling of pleasure excitement and euphoria now because of repeated intake more than one drink per day is required to produce the same effect so the person starts consuming more amount of alcohol now alcoholic tolerance is of two types one is a pharmacokinetic tolerance another is a pharmacodynamic tolerance now let's first talk about pharmacokinetic tolerance now there is reduced absorption there is reduced absorption of alcohol that is ethyl alcohol due to gastritis now alcohol uh, when it is consumed it produces gastric irritation that is a normal pharmacological action of uh, alcohol alcohol produces gastric irritation it causes increase in the production of gastric juice and further it results in gastritis now there is reduced absorption of alcohol due to gastritis and uh, uh, there is enhancement of alcohol metabolism uh, due to enzyme induction on repeated consumption of alcohol now let's see how this happens now ethyl alcohol uh, that is a drinking alcohol 98% of this alcohol is metabolized in the liver in the liver ethyl alcohol is converted to acetaldehyde by the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase acetaldehyde is further converted into acetic acid by the enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase and acetic acid is then converted into carbon dioxide and water which are uh, excreted from the body now repeated administration or repeated consumption of alcohol results in increased synthesis of enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase and increased synthesis of enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase that is called as enzyme induction now because of increased levels of alcohol dehydrogenase and increased levels of aldehyde dehydrogenase there is enhancement of alcohol metabolism so because of the reduced absorption because of the enhancement of alcohol metabolism now more amount of uh, alcohol is required to produce the same effect which was earlier produced by the less consumption of or the less volume of alcohol now this is how the pharmacokinetic tolerance is produced now we will talk about pharmacodynamic tolerance now efficacy or the effect of alcohol on the body reduces uh due to change in receptor sensitiv sens sensitivity and this change in receptor sensitivity is because of repeated consumption of alcohol um uh, now the alcohol we know affect several neurological pathway like gabergic pathway serotonergic pathway glutamate opiate uh, dopamine so uh, uh, alcohol Uh, affect several neurological pathway now here we will talk about the tolerance here we will discuss how the tolerance develops because of the receptor sensitivity uh, taking an example of gaba a receptors now normal consumption of alcohol that is uh, 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 one standard drink uh, after uh, consumption of one standard drink or uh, two standard uh, one standard drink by a woman and not more than two standard drinks by a uh, man Uh, that is a normal after normal consumption of alcohol when the alcohol is not consumed repeatedly or on daily basis there is enhancement of gaba a receptors now uh, this uh, uh, there is enhanced gaba a receptor mediated chloride channel opening uh, 
Uh, GABA we know is a gamma aminobutyric acid. It is an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain and it causes uh, uh, opening of the chloride channel. Opening of the chlor chloride channel causes hyperpolarization uh, that is a neuronal inhibition. So this results in increase in the GABAergic activity and there is neuronal inhibition. And because of the neuronal inhibition, the effects which are produced on the body are sedation, loss of restraint, that is, uh, uh, there is loss of hesitation, there is loss of inhibitions like hesitation, self-criticism and the person become relaxed. Uh, so alcohol is consumed. One of the reasons why alcohol is consumed is because of these effects on the body. And these effects on the body are produced because of the uh, increase in the GABAergic activity. Now this increase in the GABAergic activity is produced by the normal consumption of alcohol. Now on the other hand, uh, what happens in chronic alcoholism when the same normal uh, amount of alcohol that is uh, one uh, standard drink per day by a, a woman and not more than two standard drinks uh, are consumed by a man but repeatedly repeatedly that is often uh, which is termed as a chronic or on daily basis termed as a chronic alcoholism. Now what happens is this that in chronic alcoholism there is down regulation of GABA A receptors that is there is increase in the number of GABA A receptors or there is reduced sensitivity of GABA A receptors. So uh, uh, on consumption of uh, uh, normal on normal consumption of alcohol in the case of chronic uh, alcoholism uh, uh, diminished efficacy is produced uh, because there is down regulation of GABA A receptor, uh, there is a reduced sensitivity of GABA A receptors and because of the reduced sensitivity of GABA A receptors, uh, there is deficiency of GABAergic activity, there is deficiency of GABA, GABA activity. Now this uh, deficiency of GABA activity is in comparison with this GABA activity. Now when the alcohol was not uh, consumed daily, there was this much uh, GABAergic activity. But when the alcohol was consumed on the daily basis or repeatedly, the same consumption of alcohol was not able to uh, produce this much, uh, this much increase in the GABAergic activity. So compared to this GABAergic activity, uh, there is deficiency or there is uh, there is reduced GABAergic activity when the, when the alcohol is consumed, when the same amount of alcohol is consumed on daily basis. So now in order to further increase the GABAergic activity, more amount of alcohol is to be consumed. So if uh, the same normal amount of alcohol is consumed, there is deficiency of GABAergic activity, there is diminished efficacy and uh, the same level of uh, effect uh, that is the same level of sedation, same level of uh, loss of restraint, restraint like hesitation, uh, loss of self-criticism criticism is not produced by the same amount of drug, by the same amount of alcohol when the alcohol is consumed on the daily basis. So therefore, there is development of tolerance. Now, higher doses required, that is instead of one standard ring, uh, more than one standard ring by a woman, and instead of two standard drinks, more than two standard uh, drinks by a man uh, are required to produce the same level of effect. So this development of tolerance is termed as the pharmacodynamic tolerance. So this is all about the alcoholic tolerance. Uh, thanks for watching the video.